Hi, folks. Dr. Bob McCauley. People have been asking me, boy, you're always bragging about how you can run a six-minute mile. Yeah, I, I can I, at my advanced age of 66. So I've always been an athlete my whole life. I was like a, in high school, I was the track star, and I was the I ran the one mile, and I was cross-country star, you know, and, and um, in my school, uh, you know, I wasn't the top in the, in the state or anything like that. I had a friend in swimming that I grew up with, and he was second in the state in the, you know, I think the 100 meter um, swimming event. So pretty amazing. And he did a lot of, he was really close on some other ones too. So um, what do I do right before a workout? And people will treat me a certain way, by the way. They, I kind of look younger than I am. And so you get a guy like in my church or wherever we go, and you see somebody who's old and they just look old and they're, they're got gray hair and they look older than I do. They treat him a totally different way. And I may be older than that guy. <laughs> But you got that, you kind of got the cane or you got the slow walk and your gray hair and oh, people are just, oh, you're elderly and they don't treat me that way. So and so it's okay. I'm not complaining. It's just kind of funny the way people perceive you. They look at you. They treat you a certain way. So what do I do right before a workout? So, you know, you can take spirulina and chlorella. I like maca for energy, uh, spirulina in particular for energy, spirulina. Um, but what do I do right before I work out? Well, um, one of the things I do is nitric oxide, or, or what I call nitric oxide. It's actually L-arginine. It's an amino acid. Um, you can take it in powder form. It's, um, I take about a gram. You know, you don't want too much of that. Kind of gets get you upset stomach if you eat, eat too much of this. You know, even like this, this two of these will give you a gram. So, um, or a gram, uh, I don't know, not even a half a teaspoon, about a third of a teaspoon. So I take that. And I do that every, every, right before the workout. And then I do ribose. This is uh, ribo energy, I call it, but that's ribose. That's what makes uh, ATP, endosine triphosphate. That's what you got an endosine molecule, and then you got three phosphorus molecule, um, phos molecules, phosphorus mo and then you need something to put those together, and that's the ribose, which is like a dextrin, a kind of a sugar. And so I'm always eating this stuff. I don't eat tons of it. You don't need tons of it, but I maybe maybe five grams before I work out. It's just going to taste like sugar. It doesn't taste anything else. Just sugar. And um, you put it in your coffee. It doesn't matter. Um, don't drink coffee, but if you do or tea or whatever you got. But this will give you this energy because your body wants to make ATP, endosine triphosphate. That's where we get energy. The idea that we're, we're burning... Uh, you know, start to carbohydrates that are converted into simple carbohydrates or sugars, and we burn those. That's not how it works. ATP, endosine triphosphate. And then I take uh, my electrolyte blend. So electrolytes, again, this is right before I'm hopping on my elliptical or I'm going out running or I'm working out. This is what I want to really get the energy. I mean, you know, you don't have to work out afterwards, but uh, it's, uh, you know, kind of what it, what it meant for. So at any rate, um, this is what I do. I do it every single day and because um, well, I work out almost every single day. But my electrolytes, you know, that's your magnesium and calcium and, you know, choline and all these, um, these other electrolytes, potassium. Um, and, uh, and so you're, that's the conductivity in your, in your, in your body. So if the last thing you want to do right before you do a, any kind of sporting event, say you're going to run one mile, a quarter mile, you're going to uh, do a, a freestyle swimming, whatever, you know, maybe gymnastics, you want to get that conductivity going in your, especially if it's an endurance event, but even if it isn't, even if it's a short event, event you, want, you want that conductivity because if you don't have it, well, I mean, this is how you get shaky, you know, and so people go out and they drink Gatorade, well, Gatorade is one of the most disgusting, evil, uh, you know, bad products you ever want to put in your body. It's just garbage. Um, and, uh, you know, they got this stuff called Pedialyte. You give it to your babies. That's all this is. You're just giving them the electrolytes that kind of gives you that conductivity. So that's what I do right before a workout. Ribose, ribose. Uh, L-arginine, which produces nitric oxide in your body. That's what kind of ends up giving you that energy. And it's unmistakable. I have much much better workout when I do that. And then electrolytes. Right before workout, that's what I do. Um, somebody's got something different. You know, I don't, I, everything I do is natural. I don't do any kind of steroids or any kind of weird things, or, you know, to kind of get you going artificially. So that's what I do. 
I work out. It's important to get vigorous daily exercise so you always stay really healthy and get that brain connection when you got to have that workout. Dr. Bob, stay healthy. See you next time. I can't really. Nothing.